baby. I know it's difficult for you, for us to be apart so often. I mean, it's difficult for both of us. I'm, I'm so sorry. It's work. The company's growing so much right now and I know if I keep putting in that effort that it will pay off in the future. But I guess that uh, in the meantime, I have been going away so much lately. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. But this time it's just for one week. Whereas some other trips have uh, taken much longer than that. Which has just been awful. Especially when I'm offline so we can't talk for several days. I'm not going to enjoy this at all. I'll just be working my butt off around the clock. 24-7 on call for customers and potential customers. Yeah, they keep sending me to Colombia. Gives me a chance to sharpen up my Spanish, I guess. Anyway, hopefully this will be the last one for a while. Yeah, I know I said that last time, but I think uh, I'm closing a lot of deals. So hopefully it's the last one for a while and, and then I can spend more time with you. More cuddles more ice cream and more cuddles <laughs> oh yeah good point more cuddles mm, I didn't think about that you remember everything baby mm. huh can you ask me something baby of course you can uh, we always communicate openly and honestly because it's the best thing to do for Team Us. Yeah, you did some Googling when I was away last time. Uh-huh. What do you mean my company doesn't have an office in Colombia? Oh, you looked on the website. My company website. Mm, well, um, yeah, but baby, uh, just ask me stuff like that, like... I don't like the feeling like you're creeping around behind my back or something. Like if you have a question, just ask me face to face. Well, what am I doing without an office there? Yeah, I'm, I'm visiting clients mainly and just use like hotel facilities or work from home or... Yeah, well, <laughs> I use the term office like in the past when I've spoken about it, but... When I say office in Colombia, I just mean like, well, yeah, the hotel, cafes, you know, wherever I can get Wi-Fi, <clears throat> good Wi-Fi. What? Who do I hang out with in Colombia? Um, no one. I mean, I'm, I, uh, I'm just working. I go there, smash it out. Uh, I might go out with a client here and there um, you know, for a drink or... Uh, usually just to, you know, improve the relationship, take them out for dinner, that kind of stuff. Huh? Do I hang out with their families? What kind of weird question is that? Um, well, <laughs> not that I recall. I mean, I, I, I guess I would if, if it would help the business relationship but I mean most of my clients they're I don't know they're working long hours they want their family time to be private right it's uh, you know Colombian family units quite strong they want to have their their time what you did a Google image search baby what does that even mean uh, well no, no I didn't know that you could search faces on on there no I, I didn't uh, I didn't know that but uh, okay you searched uh, you searched my face okay and you found a picture of me with a woman and two children <clears throat> playing 
No. Nah. It, it's, it, nah, it's just a mistake. Don't worry. Look at my face. There's a million of people who look like me around the world. Just common genetics. <laughs> it's nothing, baby. Don't worry. It's okay. Uh, no, no. You'd have to show me. I, I don't need to see it. I'm sure a guy looks like me somewhere in the world and has a wife and kids. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. No, seriously. I, I, you don't need to show me. It's. Do I have another Facebook page? Baby, you're just being crazy. You just look. We've been spending time apart, and you're just getting paranoid. And it's normal, but let's just drop it. Like, yeah. No. Facebook page. I just have my normal one, like the one that you're attached to that you see that's there. Hmm. You clicked on the profile of the woman in the photos with me and saw that she's married to somebody and then you clicked on that one. Come on, baby, what are you doing? All right, you clicked on that one and you found another profile of me (laughs) with a different name. Baby, you're crazy. I don't have all these profiles. Is there some dude that looks like me? Just... All right, let's stop. You're getting paranoid. Just, it's late. You're tired. Look, we should just go to bed. No, I I don't want to see the photos. I I don't care. I I don't want to see them. I don't... Whatever's got into your head, I just... Don't worry. I don't care if he's got the same haircut as me. It's a common haircut. Normal, short, long on the top. I mean... Oh, well, my jewellery, he's wearing the same jewellery. It's just, it's common. Huh? Oh, come on. Really, I've had enough. Just stop. Ugh. All right, she, she's just a friend. She's just um, a friend of mine. I... Um, it's just a joke. It's someone I catch up with every now and then. Just buddies. Um, I know her Facebook says we're married. It's just a joke. We play on people for a laugh. I know it's silly and childish. Um, yeah, I, I know I just said I don't really see people. I don't I don't see people much when I'm there. I, I just don't see. But I kind of forgot I see her from time to time. Yeah, just time to time. Oh, well, yeah, okay. There's a lot of photos of us at different times and different places. But, you know, these things add up over many, many months. It's normal. I don't know what you're so worried about. Mm. Uh, All right. All right, this is really complicated. Okay. Um... Look, I used to live in Colombia, which you know. Now, the part that you don't know is that when I was living in Colombia, I married a woman there and we had twin girls. Now... You know, she's a bit hot-headed and my Spanish isn't very good and I just kind of got sick of living there and we were fighting and it was just turning out to be just horrible and uh, we decided to separate and um, I was staying there for my daughters for a while but she wouldn't let me see them and then I was miserable there because I can't really speak Spanish and... I decided to move back to the States just for a little while just to save some money and then maybe move back. And then when I came back to the States, I pretty much met you uh, straight away. Now, when we met, I, uh, I, I assumed that I was kind of done with her and that was something 
in the past, I, th- I thought I'd lost my family. It was an ugly breakup and she was denying me access to the children. And I mean, you can't imagine the pain this causes a father to have your children torn away from you, used as a power tool. It's heartbreaking. I mean, I was suicidal for a long time. I Now, after a little while, she got in contact with me and about the time that you and I moved in together, actually. And I don't know, we just spoke a little bit back and forth. I don't know what she was doing. I was very suspicious. Um, I thought she must have some ulterior motive or something. Um, So we'd speak here and there when you're in the shower, when I was on a bike ride. I mean, I don't want to speak to her. It just gave me a chance to speak to my children. And then I wanted to see them. So that very first trip I took was to see my children. But I couldn't tell you. I mean, I I thought this whole thing was behind me when we met. And all of a sudden it's back again. And I didn't know how to tell you. And I... I didn't know it was going to pan out like this. I mean, I still loved you and wanted to be with you. Well, I I still love you and still want to be with you, of course. And then the first visit went really well. And then I just wanted to see more and more of my girls. And I mean, I didn't want to lie to you. I just... It just, I don't know, the lies, they started off as little lies and they just kind of got bigger step by step and they just became normal. I I don't know, it became okay, I guess, which is terrible, I know. I mean, I feel so stupid saying this out loud, but I, I didn't plan for for any of this to happen. I still want to be with you.